the first uh, the first type of treatment that you can give is by an IV, and you give um, a medication which can break up a clot um, by um, trying to dissolve it. Uh, it's called TPA. Um, it's a blood thinner, it's a strong blood thinner, but it only works when the clot is less than eight millimeters in size. So if you have a blockage in a blood vessel and it's longer than eight millimeters, which is you know less than the tip of my finger in terms of the width, if that happens, you have to do something else. You have to have physicians there, doctors who um, can go in and try to remove that blockage, and that's called a thrombectomy. And so here at Holy Cross, we have these physicians on call 24-7, Every day of the year, we are available within 45 minutes, less than that typically, to be able to get to the hospital, take a patient to remove that blockage, whether it's by trying to suck it out with uh, a very, very tiny, something like a vacuum, uh, it's called an aspiration catheter, or to basically try to fish it out with something that's like a gentle um, stent that you uh, will grab onto the clot and pull it out. Those are ways to be able to remove that blockage and restore blood to that part of the brain. And like Sharon said, make sure that what is salvageable, what hasn't had any um, cell death, that that part of the brain can breathe again, can get oxygen and can survive. And the patient, the stroke patients can have the best possible outcome. I just want to reiterate that we're, we're doing this for awareness because there are a lot of great hospitals um, here in the States and elsewhere that provide care for all sorts of disease processes, but there are not as many as you would think that do stroke care, where they can actually remove a blockage if there is a blockage in one of the blood vessels. And that means you go to a hospital, it may be a large hospital that treats other diseases, and your expectation is, okay, that's great, my loved one is going to be able to get a stroke treated. But if they don't have the physicians there, then they're gonna to have to transfer your loved one to another hospital. That takes time. And that time, as we said in stroke, is absolutely um, invaluable to be able to, to minimize it and to be able to get the patient treated as quickly as possible. So please, please know which hospitals offer this type of treatment and go to those hospitals or request that the emergency room is taking your loved one to that hospital to be able to ensure that the outcomes are as good as, as possible, and Holy Cross Hospital is one of these uh, places.